ambitious in terms of capability um, and, and ambitions around coverage this year. Um, of course, uh, the reality uh, was uh, nature and ice played havoc with the expedition. You know, we, we arrived in Victoria Strait and discovered that contrary to predictions, um, there, there, was, there was no clearing, there was no opening, there was no ice-free day. So that forced the expedition to move south and that um, led us to the area where of course one of the two ships um, you know, was found. Now you know, the possibility exists that had the, the search gone ahead as planned and, and the, the Victoria Strait was free of ice and we got a proper search in, that we may have found the other ship, the Terror. Time will tell. As it worked out, we really couldn't have scripted it any better. Uh, it just so happened that uh, my colleague Jonathan Moore and I, uh, together uh, in lockstep, have been uh, conducting uh, much of the survey effort uh, from 2008 and on. Uh, we just both happened to be looking at the sonar screen at that precise moment, uh, and we're able to share that uh, uh, that uh, uh, moment of, of triumph. Uh, John and I were uh, also the, the, ultimately the first people to have the opportunity to dive down uh, to the Rack and Matrix Erebus and experience it firsthand. I was in my hotel in Edmonton waiting to go home and I turned on the news and it had been discovered. I had no idea until that moment. So I was really shocked, I was really surprised and uh, really pleased that the mission was a success. When he pulled the, the curtain off of the TV or the monitor or whatever and revealed the, the sonar image of the Erebus, it really, it's a breathtaking picture. I mean, even now, uh, seeing it a few months later, it really, it takes your breath away. I was overwhelmed by uh, multiple emotions, uh, one of which is the relief of after, of after six, uh, six seasons to finally have found one of the ships. Uh, all the efforts and, and the, the work that we've put, uh, not only us, but our collaborators. Uh, you know, we have so many people who, who supported and worked uh, together with us on this. So it was, it was great joy, uh, relief to see the work come to fruition. At the same time, it was total excitement because looking forward, because of the preservation of the ship, we knew that we had a unique opportunity um, to really dig into the story and to have a privileged window into history to see that story. So many men died in that expedition, 129 deaths. Um, and as long as the ships were lost, you know, there wasn't a hope that there would be a happy ending to this story. You're not going to find survivors. But, um, you know, there, there, you know there, there, was, there were other possibilities. It's a phenomenal story of Canadian history, of John Franklin and his expeditions, and the people who went to search for him uh, are a large part of why Canada claims the north. Uh, Franklin mapped so much of our northern coastline. He very nearly got the Northwest Passage. He was really only one wrong turn away from making it. At the top of King William Island, if he'd gone to the left instead of the right, he would have navigated the Northwest Passage. It ended in this, this disaster, but it, it was so close. Piece together the story through a variety of different sources over over a hundred years, uh, and so finding a, a real piece, a major piece of the puzzle, is uh, going to contribute to answering some of those questions. I think that uh, that need and that interest to fill in some of those gaps is really what draws people to the story. It's just such a such an amazing tale. Now, why is the shipwreck important to the Franklin story is because we have a lot of gaps uh, in that story. What happened after the ships were abandoned? We know of the trail on land, but there's pieces missing to this story. And the keys, or the missing pieces, a lot of them lie in that shipwreck. And that's why this one, if we want to understand the whole story, this is key to it, because we were reaching a level it's very difficult to learn more, and now it opens up a whole new realm of possibilities for pushing the research forward.